Welcome to OCI. If you are wondering how to install OCI CLI and configure it on your offline computer, you have come to the right place. We are going to show you exactly how to do that. Offline installation here refers to installation of OCI CLI on your workstation or computer where there is no public internet access. OCI CLI connects to the services through the service gateway. Please refer to the links in this video description for videos on online installation of OCI CLI. In this video, we will install OCI CLI on computer with Windows-based operating system. Here are the prerequisites for offline installation of OCI CLI. Let's first visit the official OCI documentation and see what is in there. If you have a Python version between 3.6 and 3.9 installed on your computer, you can perform an offline installation of OCI CLI. To perform an offline installation, let's go to the OCI CLI release page on GitHub and select the version of CLI that we are interested to install. Scroll down to the assets section of the release page and click on the zip file to download it. Now, let's copy the zip file to the target system. I have an OCI compute instance that is running Windows operating system. Let's connect to it and open the PowerShell console using the NAS administrator option. We are running this command in Microsoft Windows Server 2022 standard edition. The next step in the documentation is to place the installer zip file in the target system. I have copied the installer zip file here in my Windows system. Also, as a prerequisite, I had installed Python 3.9 version. Now, now, the next step is to unzip the installer zip file. As we see, we have a directory created OCI CLI installation as we have extracted the zip file. And under that, we see there are, there are two scripts, one with PowerShell extension and the other one is Python script and a directory CLI-depths, which are OCI CLI dependency packages. The installer enables autocomplete by installing and running a script. To allow the script to run, we must enable the remote signed execution policy or unrestricted execution policy. To configure the remote or unrestricted execution policy for PowerShell, let's run the command set execution policy unrestricted or set execution policy remote signed. For this demo, we are going with unrestricted. Let's change the directory to the location where the PowerShell installer script is in place. Let's go back to the documentation and look at the next step. The next step is to run install.ps1 script with hyphen offline install so that it starts the installation. As we are in the path of install.ps1 script, we have to run dot slash install.ps1 hyphen offline install. As we hit enter, there is a security warning to confirm whether to run this script or not, as this is not a trusted one. Let's proceed and run this script for once. As we run it, the script is starting OCI CLI offline installation, and it is trying to fetch the Python version and the install Python version is 3.9.9. .9. Now it is prompting us asking what directory would we like to place the install? Let's go with the default option. It's now prompting us where to put in the OCI executable. Let's go with the default option. The next step is to follow the installation prompt. Let's go ahead and follow the prompts. Now it is asking us where to place the OCI scripts. Let's go with the default option. Now, as we see, the script is trying to install OCI CLI dependency packages. Let the Python magic go on. Once the dependencies are installed, the script is prompting us to confirm whether the path variable should be modified to include the CLI and enable the tab completion in the PowerShell now. Let's proceed with yes. There we are. Our installation is successful. As the script suggests, let's run oci.exe hyphen hyphen help to print the help page of OCI CLI. To verify OCI CLI installation, let's run OCI space hyphen V command, which should result the OCI CLI install version as the output. 
let's try to fetch OCA object storage namespace. We'll run OCI OS and as get command to do this. As we see, we have ended up with error saying that the OCI CLI could not find the configuration file at the default location under home directory dot OCI config. And it is prompting us whether we want to create a new configuration file now. Let's proceed with no. If we're using the CLI, we must create a configuration file that contains the required credentials for working with Oracle Cloud infrastructure. We can create this file using a setup dialog or manually using a text editor. To have the CLI guide you through the first time setup process, use the OCI setup config command. This command prompts us for the information required to create the configuration file. For this demo, I'm using an already uploaded API signing key. As we run OCI setup config, it's prompting us to confirm the location for the configuration to be in place. Let's go with the default. It's prompting us to enter a user OSIT. Let's paste the user OSIT. And now it is asking us to enter a tenancy OSIT. Let's give that as well. Now it's asking us to enter a region by its index or name. For this demo, we'll go with Amsterdam, whose index is 16. Let's go with it. Now, the script is asking us whether we want to generate API signing RSA key pair. We'll proceed with no. Let's enter the location of API private key. After we enter the location of API signing private key file, let's hit enter. And the fingerprint is automatically captured from the private key file, and the configuration is returned to .oci config under my home directory. If we have not already uploaded our API signing public key through the console, we have to do that now. I have already uploaded the public key in my OCI console for this user. Let's run OCI OS NS get command to fetch the object storage namespace now. As we see, the object storage namespace is displayed now. To verify whether OCI CLI is configured or not, we can run OCI IAM region list command to list the OCI regions. As we see, the output is shown with OCI region key and OCI region names. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful.